Welcome back to Monetized History. I'm Daniel, and today we're celebrating the 154th anniversary of the U.S. nickel with a retrospective of its designs. Make sure you watch to the end for a trivia question on the origin of the nickel. While the U.S. had previously used silver half dimes, the first coin worth five cents to be made out of a nickel alloy was authorized by the U.S. Congress in 1866. The first such coin to enter into circulation was the shield nickel, designed by James Longacre. You might be familiar with some of his other designs. The shield on the obverse is the Union Shield. The 13 vertical stripes represent the 13 original colonies, and thus the states, and the chief represents Congress. The crossed arrows represent a desire for peace, but a readiness for war, and the laurels represent victory. The reverse of the coin is more utilitarian, featuring 13 stars around the denomination. The next nickel produced by the Mint was the Liberty, or V-Nickel, designed by renowned engraver Charles Barber, which began circulating in 1883. The obverse features Liberty, surrounded by 13 stars, and the reverse features the denomination surrounded by a wreath of wheat, cotton, and corn. In 1890, farms produced over $1.5 billion worth of those crops. Following the Liberty Nickel, James Earl Fraser's Buffalo Nickel began being minted in 1913. He wanted his design to be unmistakably American, so he chose the American bison for the reverse and felt that a portrait of a Native American paired well with it. Fraser, who has sculpted many Native Americans, stated that the portrait was a composite and did not represent a real person. In 1938, the Mint began production on the Jefferson Nickel, designed by Felix Schlag. Franklin Roosevelt, an admirer of Jefferson, was president at the time and likely influenced the decision to feature him on the coin. Roosevelt was also responsible for the construction of the Jefferson Memorial, which began the same year. Jefferson was the third president of the United States, responsible for the Louisiana Purchase and the subsequent Lewis and Clark expedition. On the reverse is the house he designed for his plantation, Monticello. Today, it's a museum near Charlottesville, Virginia, dedicated to his life. In 2006, the effigy of Jefferson was updated by artist Jamie Frankie, who also sculpted the bison on the reverse of the commemorative 2005 nickel. Finally, I want to end this video with a bit of trivia. Are you ready? Who was the mining magnate that influenced Congress to use nickel in U.S. coinage? If you think you know, let me know on Twitter. I'll post the answer tomorrow and give a shout out to the winner in my next video. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Do you have a favorite nickel? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe.